Welcome back to Skyrim. I did a few side quests and stuff, so I leveled up, I got a few better armors. I completely leveled up my um, smithing. I didn't get any fancy armor though, I want to like find armor and, you know, still have the property of that. <laughs> well, I'll record. Got the sitting uh, thing from the travelers. Got the bandolier and the back backpacks for uh, more carry weight. And I am a level 24. So yeah, I still have my Jedi sword, Jedi sword lightsaber. <laughs> Let's just go to White Run. I guess that's our quest right now. Uh, I also started the war between the, the dad and that. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> so yeah, I started the war. I joined the Ulfric Stormcloak side because I always joined the Ulfric Stormcloak side. Yeah. But I also have these that I must do first. So we can have something to do. I also got a new companion. Uh, I summoned him in. I don't know how long he summoned in. I might have to check that real quick. Uh, that's the children. For three hundred for three thousand and six hundred seconds. So he'll be around for a while, and if I need him, then I'll spawn him back in. The cool part about this thing, I can ride him. It's one of it's a dwarven, uh, 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 you know, like horse ride. I don't fucking know what you call it, mod. But yeah, you can ride them. You know, there are many things you can ride in this mod pack. In this particular mod pack, there are centurions you can ride, or spiders you can ride, or snakes you can ride. There's this weird little eyeball thing you can ride. So yeah, I've been pretty much all over the planet, all over the map, except for areas I really need to be. Who the fuck is this? I come back. Where are, what, what? I am waiting for a good death. Yes, were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malachi. My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unsightly. How much more so when that thing is you? Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Mm -hmm. We shall see. We shall see indeed. They're not even doing anything to me. Well, I guess that was good enough. <laughs> Let's go, little buddy. I hope this death was worth it to die by a lizard man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little thing I also did. I uh, kind of cheated, got myself some money, and I got myself 10,000 magicka and 10,000 stamina. Why did I get 10,000 magicka and 10,000 stamina? Because 
sometimes when I level up, I always uh, think a lot whether I, sh I should level up stamina, or health, or magicka. Yeah. So now I'll just when I level up, I'll just pick health because it's the only thing I will need, pretty much. Hopefully. So yeah. That's why. It's easier for me, and I won't spend too much time thinking on what I should need. And if I have too many perks that I don't know what to do yet, then I'll do that off recording, and then I won't bother with that either. Like, you saw that I have like four perks up right now. Three or four perks. Four perks. That's because I haven't decided yet which I want to level up. As I said, I leveled up smithing completely. I could put them all in here. But then, I don't really want to craft light armor, and I don't have any mods right now that require light armor, so... You know, I'm still thinking how I should and what I should level up. I'm gonna do more two-handed as well, because I have the double wheel two-handed mod still in installed. So I need this twice, so my dual wield heavy weapons attacks are faster. If I ever want to do wield heavy attacks, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty awesome. So, yeah, here we are at Right Run, where I have not been yet. There are a few things here that I could look up, including mods and stuff. Thank you, Dogger. No cards. That's strange. <laughs> Where are the guards at? Huh. What's this now? There we go. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I have news from Helgen at the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Yay. Whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Anyway, <coughs> uh, I'll try to gut out, cut out, gut out, gut out, I'm gonna gut out. No, I'll, I'll try to cut out as many loading screens as I can, as long as my uh, free make video make program thing that goes on every end of the video that you will see um, doesn't like glitch up and like shut down and stuff and while I'm editing my videos because it kind of sucks so yeah I'll try to do as much as I can on editing loading screens out and stuff so yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes I was gonna try and like role play I know a lot of people that play Skyrim try to role play and actually read the texting of stuff so I might try and do that. I might have to read exactly everything. I've never really done that, but my English has gotten better over the years. So right now I'm just trying to unlock every location right here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and stuff. Oh look, it's Master Sheep. Your children, your very lives. And what does the Empire do? Nothing. 
Nothing. <laughs> so yeah. Before I go into Right Run Castle, there's something over here I want to check out. Uh, I think it's still here. Yes, it is still here. Lovely. Stark Laboratory! If you're a fan of superheroes, then you know who Stark is. Hello, Jarvis. Hello, Pepper. Yes? Farewell. To the Dragonborn. I don't even know that I'm a Dragonborn yet, but still. To the Dragonborn. I figured since I will make no more than one of each armor set for you, you'd eventually want to want more sets. Or followers and such. So here are the requirements reagent to craft. Your own sets of Iron Man armor. <laughs> you can craft them at any forge. Iron Man March 6. Armor. Oh, right. That's just title of the armor and stuff. Iron section, heavy section, dwarven section. I do realize these reagents are hard to come by, especially in large amounts. I wish you the best of luck in your adventures and in fi finding these things. Tony Stark. Lovely. But there should be an armor set somewhere. If I can find the key. Oh, there we go. To the Dragonborn. I have been experimenting with a pl plethora of the different armor types. Each one that I deem worthy of being noticed, I will transport a prototype into the experimental armor chest to the left of the fireplace. You'll find that it is locked, so I have included a key beside this book. Feel free to test them out and give me feedback. P.S. These are called the experimental armors for a reason. So if you don't like them or they are dysfunctional, simply don't wear them. And I will try and fix them. Sincerely, Tony Stark. Lovely. And we have a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna take, I always like, take this one around. I don't know, because I like the black one more than the patron armor. So I'm gonna carry the patron armor around. Ooh, I have an idea. It works. Oh, well, <laughs> it's wearing it, but it doesn't really seem like it. What's in here? What the world is that? Summon Jarvis. Oh, damn. You can summon Jarvis, apparently. Oh, yeah, I remember now. These are the su supposedly spell books. And the actual armor set. Mark six. Alright then. To the person who finds this, I have tested out my device capable of transporting objects and people between universes. Since there are an infinite number of universes, there is a a universe for every thought and particle interaction that ever look, took place in any of the universes 
Meaning there are, there is a universe for absolutely anything anyone has ever thought of. I come from a universe in which I, along with other heroes, are taxed to protect my planet Earth from evil forces that put in it in danger. In my meantime, I like to play with technology and invent things among my favorite video games. Oh, and invent things. Dot. Among my favorite video games is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I have been wanting to transport myself to the planet Nern for a while. Our planet is called Nern. Well, that's a weird name. But I worry about leaving my planet to no one to save at all the time. Who knows what trouble people can get themselves into while I am gone. Anyone... Anyway... Anyways, I am deciding to send my armor and a clone of my girlfriend over. I hope you Dragonborn find good use for... use out of them. Just find not. Just try not to get pepper killed, and treat my armor with responsibility. Sincerely, Tony Stark. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. So now I can call in Jarvis. Jarvis, if I ever need him. And my dog isn't here. That's weird. So there you have it. Now I have the armor from Iron Man if I ever need it. The reason why I took it now is because I need... Uh, the armor actually has a lot more capacity, weight and stuff and health and whatnot. So it's always useful. To have it. Anyway, back to the story. If the news is so terribly true, well, I think there's no telling. My lord, what's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl no Balgraf is not receiving I visitors. I, just... <laughs> I have a message from Alfred Stormcloak. Girder sent me. Riverwood is in danger. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. A dragon has destroyed Halgen. Somebody said help, or it will destroy everything. I'm trying to role play, but I'm not good at it, so. Tell me if I should go. <laughs> you know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Nah. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, I had a great view while the appeals were trying to cut off my head. <laughs> really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past but it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute especially now what I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen the dragon destroyed Helgen and I last saw it heading it was heading this way <laughs> or I could just say, the, Imper the Imperials were about to execute Dorflix Stormcloak, then the dragon attacked. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with the first line. Was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the dragon is lurking in the mountains. You view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. 
We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tan your hive for sure. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Absurd that you can't get good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Varingar. I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. What does this have to do with dragons? <laughs> ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do, exactly? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Vault Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak's Fall Barrow, my dear young man, or old man? An old tomb built by the ancient Norse, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. <laughs> I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know the stone tablet is in Black Falls Barrow? Bleak Falls Barrow. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, must we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. What do you have for sale? <laughs> Let's see if there's anything new. Uh, no, there's anything I don't have yet. Let's see. I think I have that already. Uh, I think I have most spells by now. <laughs> Mega light. Oh, I don't think I have this one. Mega light. It is all the dwarven spells that I got the dog from. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, Off to this is a priority. what's in here? What's this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
it's a crossbow or some side something like that or explosive bolts for something for a crossbow why is it French I thought I got the English version oh well anyway let's just go oh yeah I still need to talk to him anyway Yo, Ulfric Stormcloak has asked me to deliver this axe to you. Did he now? <laughs> the man is persistent. I'll give him that. But until that dragon's dealt with, Ulfric's just going to have to wait. For now, I'll hold on to this axe. But it's a tenuous piece at best. Now, I believe you have some business to conclude with my court I'm sure wizard. Prove most anyway, let's get going. If you may have noticed, the books are glowing. That's also a mod I installed. It's to see which books I have read and which not. So, yeah. There's special glows for like 